a little while back I made this vacuum template to go on my vacuum fixture and this was to machine out the sides to my pickup winders that I make and it worked out pretty decent but I did some uh, research on uh, some YouTube videos of uh, vacuum fixtures and found some aluminum ones and uh, they're made a little different instead of having a, hole, a lot of holes in them they have like one hole and some grooves for the suction to go through, channel through. So I decided to uh, do some experimentation and uh, I made one for the fronts and backs of my pickup winders out of MDF just to try it out. Just drilled one hole in there and put some grooves in it, put the gasket around it and it worked out pretty decent. And uh, I got the idea to try it out of plastic. Uh, this is just out of a cheap cutting plastic cutting board. And it worked pretty good. It kind of gummed up on the router bit, uh, I guess getting hot as it was cutting. So I had to chisel some of these pieces out. And I tried that and that works decent too. So now I want to try a piece out of aluminum and, uh, and see how that works. So I made a new top for the vacuum fixture, uh, got rid of all the holes, just solid with one hole for the center of the uh, vacuum plate that will go on there. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, spot two holes, top and bottom for screws, and two more holes for locating pins, and uh, get them transferred to the back of the aluminum plate so that I can position it the same every time, put two screws on each end to hold it in place. Once we get that done, then we can start machining the grooves for the uh, vacuum and all that. So right now I've got a center drill in the router just to spot those holes. And uh, I haven't decided whether to drill them by hand or whether to come back and drill them with the router. But let me get the holes spotted first and then we'll decide. After second thought, I decided to uh, use a router bit and cut or bore the quarter inch hole instead of using the center drill just to spot the holes. I'm going to use these little uh, dowel pin uh, markers, uh, put them in the two holes for the uh, center or location pins. And then I can lay the aluminum piece on there, mark those and then come back and put them in the uh, bolt holes and do the same thing and then I've got some inserts for the bolt holes which I'll have to drill out a little bit bigger for the inserts for some machine screws so let's get started on getting those holes drilled Things are a little bit too, too tight in the hole for that router from the router bit, so I think I'll use a reamer to uh, ream them out a little bit. I've got a pencil mark right here and here where to line the aluminum plate up to. I don't know if you can see those two marks, but right there and there. So 
and we'll get those holes drilled for the uh, centering pins now and we'll have to make the pins and then once we put them in then we can turn it back over and mark the screw holes I drilled that hole with a uh, 64th under a quarter and now I'm going to use the reamer to ream the hole out so we'll have a good snug fit on the pins. There we go. Got the pins lined up. So now we can mark for the screw holes. Should have got a little bit bigger piece of aluminum. These uh, screw holes are going to be awful close to the edge, particularly on this one side here. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Now I've got a counter bore for the head of the socket cap screw. Got to set my depth.
use an end mill just to flatten out the bottom of the hole. Now I've got to drill these holes here out for the screws for these uh, threaded inserts which will accept the 1032 machine screw or socket head cap screw. Well, there it is, all mounted down. Now it's time to uh, run the program and route the slots. <laughs> 